my name is Fatima Gatella. I'm an informatics nurse from Sacramento, California. That right behind me is the State Capitol building. I'm very excited to take over nurse.org today. So please come and hang out with me throughout the day. Hi everyone, my name is Fatima Gatella from the informaticsnurse.com and I am here with you today for the nurse.org Instagram takeover. I'm really excited to be spending time with you today. Today is all about nursing informatics and over the next five episodes, I will be sharing with you why I chose to become an informatics nurse, some of the roles that I've had as an informatics nurse, and some steps that you could take if you're interested in becoming an informatics nurse. First, let me share with you a little bit about my nursing career journey and why I chose to become an informatics nurse. I started out as a med search nurse in Florida and then when I moved to California, I became an intermediate ICU nurse. And I did that for about a year. Then I moved to the neuro. In my first job in Florida, where I was a med surge nurse for two years, we were already using an EMR for clinical documentation, as well as barcode medication scanning. When I moved to California, I volunteered to be a super user for two EHR implementation projects. I love working with computers and technology as well as teaching. It was during my second experience as a super user that I really realized that I wanted to be part in creating the solutions and the tools that would be later on implemented in the clinical areas. I wanted to get more involved in the decisions that were made about these solutions and tools so that I could advocate for patients as well as my fellow nurses earlier on in the process. Hi, this is Fatima Gatella of the informaticsnurse.com. I am back here with you at the nurse.org takeover. Earlier today, I shared with you why I chose to become an informatics nurse. And now I want to share a little bit more about the different jobs that I've had as an informatics nurse over the past 10 years. My first job as an informatics nurse was actually called application analyst. I was an application analyst for an EHR team. So EHR stands for electronic health record. And notice that there's no word nurse nor informatics in that job title, but nevertheless, it was a nursing informatics role. As an application analyst in an EHR implementation project, I was part of a large team that helped an academic medical center transition from paper documentation as well as documentation in other legacy systems, which are like older systems that are not very integrated, and transition that into a more integrated EHR or electronic health record. The team was a large team composed of a lot of different disciplines. There were a lot of technical people, project managers, but there were also several nurses on the team, as well as other clinicians such as pharmacists and physician champions. As an application analyst, I had a lot of different roles and responsibilities. One of the earliest responsibilities that I had was to perform a gap analysis of what the nurses were documenting at that time. So the clinical content itself, as well as how they were documenting it. So were they documenting it in fields, in, in rows, um, and were they clicking, were they typing? And then compare that with what the new EHR um, had to offer and see whether there's a one-to-one -one, mapping of items and even workflows. And then if there's no equivalent, then identify what the gap is and see how we can provide solutions for that gap. Did many other things um, as an application analyst for that project, including actually building the tools that were eventually used by nurses. When we say building in the EHR world, um, we mean configuring the tools or customizing you know, the off the shelf product so that it makes more sense to the clinicians in that organization. 
Um, the other things that I did were um, after I built the tools, I tested my own work, I tested my peers and teammates work. We then all participated in what's called an integrated testing. And then we involved the end users in user acceptance testing. One of the things that I'm most proud of in that project was when I became the project coordinator for the clinical content build out phase. And that was the phase of the project when we worked very closely with the clinical subject matter experts, the nurses who provided the direct patient care to make sure that the tools we were building met their needs and made sense to them. So we had a lot of meetings. I coordinated all the meetings, coordinated all the validation sessions. So we would meet with them almost weekly to show them what we've done the past week and then to ask them how they would want us to build the things that we were planning to build the week after. So we were very in very close um, collaboration with the clinical subject matter experts. Hi everyone, this is Fatima Gatella from the informaticsnurse.com. I am back to continue taking over nurse.org's Instagram stories for today. Earlier today, I shared about why I chose to become an informatics nurse, as well as my very first nursing informatics job, which was as an application analyst for an EHR implementation project. Now I'm going to share about my second nursing informatics job, which was as a project consultant for a client in the Midwest while I was still residing in the San Francisco Bay Area. So what does a project consultant in a nursing informatics role do? In my experience, you basically do whatever your client needs you to do within the scope of the project and within your realm of expertise. In this particular case, my client needed me to do a lot of analysis, so including workflow and gap analysis, as well as help them optimize their existing tools and build new tools if needed. So you might be thinking that my description of the job of an application analyst sounds very similar to my description of the job of a project consultant, except that as an application analyst, I work full time for a local organization and as a project consultant, I worked for an out of state client. If you're thinking that, you're more or less right. Um, and it was a deliberate intent on my part to stay within my realm of expertise in my um, consulting experience. So as a consultant, you're not a full-time employee, but you are an outside resource. And oftentimes, if you do a great job, you become a trusted advisor. So what are the perks of being a project consultant? The perks can be vastly different based on the consulting company as well as the client. So I'm just going to speak about my own experience. One of the perks that I like is that everything um, was paid for when I traveled to my client site, including hotels, rental cars, airline, gas, um, and meals. And I got to keep all the rewards and loyalty points um, for those hotels and airlines. Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Fatima Gatella from the informaticsnurse.com and we are on the home stretch of the nurse.org Instagram stories takeover. Our topic for today was all about nursing informatics. So earlier today I shared with you why I chose to become an informatics nurse, a couple of jobs that I did as an informatics nurse earlier in my career. So one of them was an application analyst for the EHR implementation at an academic medical center. And my second job as an informatics nurse was as a project consultant for a client that was out of state. So the client was in a different state than me and I traveled to my client's site to do projects. And the rest of the time I was teleworking Earlier, I spoke about the perks of being a project consultant. Another advantage of being a project consultant is that your base pay rate could be higher 
compared with a job, a similar job in a full-time employee setting. However, there could also be challenges in being a project consultant. The foremost thing that comes to my mind is that the medical, dental, or other health benefits might not be as comprehensive or as extensive compared with full-time employees. Another thing to keep in mind is that your taxes may be significantly higher or may make a significant dent in your overall pay. Another thing to keep in mind is that PTO might be non-existent, so if you don't work, you don't get paid at all. My current job is Program and Solutions Manager. So in this role, I'm responsible for more than one project at a time. So I'm responsible for several interconnected, interrelated projects. I'm also considered a regulatory nurse in my organization, which means that I help the organization, including my team, my department, and other departments, make sure that we are in line with federal and state and other regulations when it comes to the electronic health record. In my current role, I work with a lot of different kinds of professionals, including project managers, other program managers, application analysts. I also work with programmers, report writers, business analysts, clinical analysts, and other kinds of analysts. I'm also happy to share that I still work very closely with other clinicians, including nurses, physicians, pharmacists, lab staff, social workers, among others. I strongly believe that work can be challenging, impactful, and also fun and fulfilling. It doesn't have to be either or. I love sharing my knowledge and helping other nurses find the career path where they can maximize their impact, their contribution, and also their own joy. Ever since I became an informatics nurse in 2010, I've been advocating to have more nurses in informatics roles. To that end, I created my website, theinformaticsnurse.com, which has been continuously running since 2011, providing free tips, guides, advice, and even some curated job postings to anyone who's interested in nursing informatics. From time to time, I also coach a small group of nurses and help them formulate a strategy to solve real life problems regardless of where they work. More recently, I developed an online course that distills some of the teachings from my small group coaching program so that other nurses who prefer the self-paced learning method can also benefit from the things that I teach in the program. I'm going to be sharing about this new online course during my webinar on October 29 at 5 p.m. Pacific time. I'd like to invite you to come to the webinar. Registration is on my website at theinformaticsnurse.com. I hope to see you there.